Hello! And welcome to uh, another video. And this time I'm playing this game called Machine Night. Okay, let's press new game. Select your difficulty. I already did normal, so I'm doing advanced this time. It is through discovery that people do recover from failure because they know discovery. They can accept the setback of disgrace. These are the words of a philosopher of old. Pursuing glory and honor, people set out on horseback beneath blah blah blah, conquer the seas and blah blah blah, new territories. And one day, as a summer sun sinks at least beneath the horizon, a twilight spread over people, surround over people. They woke to a realization that nowhere in the world, and blah blah blah. And, uh, I, can, I can barely read it, it's too fast. They fought to relate the fire and it was on the icy seasons, realized the size of their hearts and have they crafted and kind of life they this new glory was unleashed by blah 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 and came growth and this development and blah but as time passed their bloated minds grew dulled dulled to the intoxication of discovery and when they sit Sat to a sin had come to tower like a mountain peak. A man sighed, crashed down on the great floor. <laughs> Darkness fell over their hearts. Oh, well, then. Are you ready, Frayne? Yes. I've been. I've waited for this day. I can hardly believe it's here. Yes. Science brings people happiness. It was your passion that has allowed us to see this day. I'm glad I could work with you, daughter. We've discovered something that no one else could have. Your passion to save the world made it happen. I already know what happens. I played this game before, but I'm not gonna spoil it. So you will have to you will have to f figure it out for yourselves until I find. Un you will have to figure it out while I play through this game. I'm probably doing a full playthrough, so yeah. So there you go. Anyway. <laughs> Right now, the world is in crisis. Yes. But at the same time, as scientists, the guilt is on our hands. The night had the night was broken by a blinding, blinding flash, and scientists recognized their sin. I never expected I'd be forced to accept the truth of this statement. It's not only your responsibility, Doctor, to develop. The develop of the develop the to develop the model of time. So uh, accelerator various technologies were brought together from around the world. All scientists are responsible. I am too because I supplied the technology to promote development. And in the end it failed. We produced something incomplete. The question is how we'll proceed from here. Avoiding failure is important, but our mission is to be responsible by re recovering from the loss. I wonder how a scientist can escape his guilt. We dropped a satellite which was in stable orbit and created a black sun. It caused an energy shortage and food crisis throughout the world. And the monoatom serves accelerator when our control and the Earth is approaching the sun because of the gravity which is generated by the accelerator. We will forgive our sin. The sin will never disappear. 
and I regret to that for the rest of my life. But you're trying to exploit the guilt that thought should make the world better. Otherwise, it's too sad to contemplate, isn't it? Making the world better, if we can successfully reach the place through the gate, we can probably supply stable atmospheric energy. Let's begin now. For the world, for our sin. Frain! Uh. Frain, this isn't what you promised me. Son of a bitch. This is exactly what I promised you. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's for your sake too. Creating a sense that saves the world. That's our role, right? It doesn't have to be you going there. Also, using the gate requires split second timing and it isn't stable. I know that, but the most important thing isn't worrying about failure, but recovering from past f failure, right? If something happens to me, it will be useful to someone else. That's the reason I decided to become a scientist. Well, are you ready? Yes, please begin. Promise me. Come back, please. Eh, sad at. <laughs> I don't need to listen to your fucking mouth. <laughs> You're in my own stomach. I will. And I'm out of here like a couple trees. Worrying about him, goddammit. I have no idea. He traveled somewhere no one has ever been using methods which no one has ever tried before. He promised to come back, so. Is there someone there? Who? Who? Who are you? Don't worry, there's nothing suspicious about me. Staring. Well, I'm traveling and... Travel? Why go to such trouble to get to the middle of nowhere? Um... I came from across the sea. Oh, I see. No wonder your clothes are so strange. <laughs> what? Oh, never mind. I've never met anyone from across the sea. So, that's what they wear then. Over the sea. Well, can you tell me if there are any great cities near here? If possible, a capital where a ruler lives. Well, now there's Dandong Castle to the north. The Dandong family has ruled there since long before I was born. Dandong Castle. A castle? Dandong or Dangdong? Uh, I don't know how it's pronounced. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but recently, people say the king hasn't appeared before his subjects. I wonder if he has fallen ill. A castle and a king? Thank you very much. You've been extremely helpful. <laughs> You're too grateful. All I offered were directions, but you certainly have fine manners, though your clothing is strange. <laughs> yeah, we already know. Don't need to say that a million times. So... Kiss my ass. If you think my clothes are weird. <laughs> By the way, the village is called Cole. Wow, what an interesting name. <laughs> I thought I heard stupider village names 
and more dumber town names. Oh, never mind. It's video game logic, of course. Anyway, hmm. nothing much goes on here, but a relaxed pace is best in life. A human being, a proper human being, and we understood each other's words. Is this world really a different one from my own? down here then that little cutscene happens then this happens then I okay so much nature it's so different from my world I should bring some plants back with me they don't look like they don't look poisonous oh Oh no. Pancho, Pancho. Or however the hell you pronounce that. Pretty sure I'm pronouncing it right. I'm pretty sure it's a Pancho. Who cares? These words are weird. I don't know them that well. Anyway. I've never seen this creature. And it looks squishy. Pancho, Pancho. Here come other ones again. They're all squishy. Pancho, Pancho! They're squishy, but are they angry? Pancho! Oh, wow! Wait, wait, wait! This way, I need to save the game soon. Young man, what are you doing? Do you want to run or fight? Decide now! Pancho! We've been surrounded. Young man, use this. A sword? A real one? They're coming for us. Beam! Battle time! Bam! names so just bear with me <laughs> anyway i am arlen if you're going to dandong castle can you wait a short while i have something to do but i'll finish it quickly and come back i appreciate your kindness but you from castle. well i need to get to that dandong castle as soon as possible I see, though, even if you head stand on now, I may catch up with you. If so, I could use your help again. Hee <laughs> hee, that's an honest attitude, I like that. What's your name? Crane, my name is Knight Park Crane. What? Knight, what? Why do you have two names? Or was that one wrong name? No, I mean, it's like a nickname to call me Crane. Crane is what I see. Lady, okay? Well, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!